Hey superhumans, I thought I'd tell you a story today. Story time. Um, it makes sense. It's something that came up when I was just recently speaking with a client. And I hated school. Like, when people say they hate school, I fucking hated it. I hated every, everything about it. I didn't, I wasn't one of them people that was like, I'll go and get to see my friends. I lived with most of my friends in the same park, so I got to see them after school. I fucking hated going. And I really hated uniforms. Like, my school didn't have a uniform until I was P6, I think, P5 or 6. So at least we could wear whatever we wanted. But I would have been late to school. You could walk to my school in five minutes from where I lived. And I fuck it. I hated I hated it. I hated the walk. The walk took me half an hour at least. I'd be late every every class, every time. I'd, I'd late every single day. Like my mum used to have such a hassle getting me out of bed. I remember she used to put like... Like people would fucking love this. Breakfast in bed, toast and tea, and I'd end up falling asleep again, spilling the tea and dropping the toaster. I'd just eat it and drink it and go back to sleep. I just didn't want to go there. Didn't want to be there at all. And whenever the uniform came in, I hated the uniform. And I I remember I used to I used to go to school and we'd get to go home for lunches, which is mad because I hated school. I didn't want to be in there even for lunch. And when I used to come home, I mostly had chocolate spread sandwiches squashed together. Don't know why they had to be squashed, but they had to be. Um, so it's stuff I could have just took to school and had for lunch, but I didn't want to be there. So I would go home and watch like Wizardora or Rainbow or whatever was on at, at, during school time. And whenever the uniform came in, I used to go and like bog myself. I'd throw myself down the hill and I'd get bogged and I'd come home and I'd be like, can't wear the uniform, mum, bigger boys. <laughs> Bigger boys threw me down the hill and now I'm bogging. I can't, I can't go back. And Some days I wouldn't go back to school at all because I was scared of the bigger boys. And uh, Some days I would just go to school and I'd have to go and tell all the teachers why I wasn't wearing a uniform so I didn't get in trouble, which wasted loads of time. And it got me out of a lot of classes. It got me out of a lot of school time. And then when I moved to St. Pat's, same sort of thing. You had to wear a uniform. I fucking hated it. I, I tried the bogging approach, but it wasn't working anymore i was too old to be throwing myself down a fucking hill and i didn't like secondary school either i did have friends there that i wouldn't have seen anywhere else so that was probably the only difference between primary and secondary but i fucking hated it and now all i do is spend my time studying and learning and never throw myself down muddy hills to get well that's not even true actually i do that i want to throw myself down there but in the glens i just walk off the beaten track all the time so i come home shoes and trousers bog so i don't do it to get out of anything i do it for fun now because i like doing it i'm like fucking peppa pig anyway my, my point is that most of my life i avoided learning i avoided study i avoided anything to do with just college study moving forward anything and now that's all I do all day, every day. I study, I read, I watch stuff. I, I try to improve my life, my knowledge. Like there's books everywhere. There's notes everywhere. There's books in the other room. There's notes in the other room. And it just got me thinking about, because I talked about change recently. And that's a massive change if you think about it. Someone who hated everything to do with school and learning, like did not want to do anything, didn't read and was terrible at writing my spell and still pretty bad if you follow my social media posts but in general didn't like any of that and now i do it and it got me thinking about people who like i work with a lot of people that have had weight issues their whole life or eating issues their whole life and they'll say things like or anxiety and they'll say things like it's just me this is how i am this is the way i am i can't sure i can't change now i'm too old or i can't change now this is who I've been as far back as I remember I've always been like this and I'm like if I could change into a scholar would we call me a scholar into someone who's learned is that a word <laughs> into someone who, who loves learning and, and growth and understanding and asking questions and why and why is this do this and how does this work and what the fuck is that and I love coming up with my own conclusions to to things and and then checking it out to see how right or wrong I am. I love doing all that. I love learning. I love studying. I love chatting to people that have done more 
chatting to people that if you had introduced me to them when I was younger, I would have run a mile, but going and looking for them and being like, here, you're a super duper scientist, man. What the fuck is science? How does science work? What's going on here? I wasn't really allowed in my science class. I remember my science class, uh, <laughs> Bob, he was called Bob. I hope he's listening to this. Um, I was just being a wee dick in science and just talking and my science teacher was off. So Bob, fuck was his second name? Don't know. I think calling him Bob was the straw that broke the camel's back, as they say. I just been an annoying student because normally I wasn't allowed in the class and then he was um, a stand in a substitute. So he obviously, when I said, oh, I normally just stand outside, thought I was joking and he was like, get in the fucking class. We probably didn't say fucking, but get in the class. And I was in the class and I was just being a wee dick and just messing about and he fucking came over and lifted me by my belt. This is how much of a fucking wee asshole I was. He lifted me up by my belt like kindergarten cop and walked me out the door like I was off the ground I was a very light child and he was a big enough guy and I struck a Superman pose and, and sung the theme tune to Superman like it didn't faze me that a man was wedgy belting me out the door I didn't complain about it I didn't care I just was glad to be getting fucking fired out of the class um so that's how much I hated everything to do with it. I didn't even care that he manhandled me out of the class I actually preferred being out there than in but showed how much of a little dick I was that I still managed to strike a Superman pose and sing the theme tune, write the theme tune, sing the theme tune as I was getting thrown out. So you can change is my point. What a long-winded way of getting around to you can change. If you could change, then I could change. Everyone could change. Any excuse to get Rocky IV involved. That's how, like in the last two statements I've come out with a different TV statements. Rocky IV... <laughs> I love Rocky IV. Everybody should watch it if you haven't watched it. Um, at the end, whenever he's shouting in the ring about change and he solves the conflict between America and Russia, not just if he dies, he dies, and Russia. Um, <laughs> I just really enjoy that my brain makes these sort of connections really fast. So you can change, like Rocky changed Russia. There's probably about eight podcasts where I use this analogy, but you can change... Everyone can... <laughs> Everybody can change if you're willing to. If you're willing to put the effort in or if a fucking a rip to the shreds guy punches ahead of you for 12 rounds or whatever, you'll eventually change too. You can change. You, you can change for the better. You can change for the worse. It's up to you which one you decide to do. If you do nothing, I think, and I've said it in a different podcast recently, I think if you do nothing, you'll change for the worst. Life will happen and it'll just get worse. If you make the decision to change for the better, you can. So don't look at yourself and be like, I know, but I've always been like that. Who gives a fuck what you've always been like? What do you want to be like? What do you want to do now? What information do you need to move forward being whatever you want to be? And then fucking be that instead. Don't be um, something that you're not happy with or somewhere that you're not happy. If you're not happy in your job, find out what you need to do to get a job that you want and then start doing that and then start looking for a new job. If you're not happy in your relationship, communicate talk or get the fuck out whichever one is going to be the most beneficial time is the only thing that we have so that we can't replace so just fucking rocky for it do it get out old school rocky just watch rocky four if everything falls apart anything you don't like any of this else just watch rocky four and you'll have a fun time uh, <laughs> i'm definitely gonna watch rocky four that's what's gonna happen so you should watch rocky four too rocky four uh, anyway, change. We can all change. Rocky IV taught us that at least. So now I'm just rambling. So I'm going to cut it here. Don't live a life you're not happy and content with. Start doing stuff that makes it better. It's as simple as that. Have an amazing day, whatever you get up to, especially if it's watching Rocky IV. And I will chat to you again tomorrow.